Hey there, Algebra 2 class. Um, God is so good to give us Fridays. So we are ready for Friday, April 3rd. We are excited about it. Um, thank God it's Friday. So we've made it um, just one more week until Good Friday. You guys actually are going to have Good Friday off. We won't have anything due. You won't have to log in. It is going to be like an actual day off. So Pretty cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. But just one week out from the really good Friday, talking about, um, you know, the Friday that Christ rose from the dead, proved to this world and for all eternity that he is the one and only God. And that's just coming up next Friday. We just celebrate that um, once a year, just kind of just a joyous time for those of us who believe. And maybe for those of you who don't believe, you would consider um, at least testing whatever it is that you believe. OK, um, because I know my faith it has been tested and has proven true. So a faith that cannot be tested can't be trusted. OK, so just a little side note. Um, some of you guys, just to tell you a little bit about this week, um, you've done really well. Some of you have thought like, oh, man, um, Mr. Fulop, he wore the same shirt all week long. OK, <laughs> I do all my recording um, in one day. So. I try to get it all done in one day. Um, typically, it works pretty well. It's quiet while my wife's at work. So, you know, it just works out for me to get all my lessons ready and then teach them all in the same day and then work on next week. I want to get ahead a little bit because um, that's important for me. I can work on um, what I'm teaching next week. It takes me a while to get these lessons ready. I know it probably doesn't seem like that, but. I am a slow worker. I was the one in class who was always last minute turning in the test. The teacher's walking out of the classroom about to turn the lights out and I'm still asking them a question. Like that was me. So it takes me a long time to get this work done. I'm not a fast worker. And especially with something new and challenging like this. Um, you know, I've been I've been working at this. I want to do better. I'm, I'm trying to adjust some things. And hopefully this week as we go into the week of Easter, um, I'm looking at adjusting our lessons to make them a little bit more interactive. I want to use Nearpod to um, try to create some interactive lessons. I'm sure some of your teachers are already doing that and like so much better than me, um, but I'm a beginner. This is my first year teaching full-time math as it is, and on top of that, I'm doing this. So pray for me, y'all. I'm praying for you. You pray for me. We got each other's backs, all right? Um, let me know if you have some suggestions. Like, really, really, I've gotten a few, and I'm not promising that I'm going to do it, but I'd like to hear your suggestions. And I, I got to tell you, I am not a perfect person. I am not a perfect teacher. I mentioned in the message to you guys before, like, honestly, I I love my Algebra 2 class. I love you guys so much, and, and I'm so excited to, you know, be teaching you guys. I just... I... I'm not perfect, and I wish you guys even had a better teacher than me. You know, there's there's so much that I wish I could do for you. I wish I could be for you. I wish I could be more intelligent. I wish I could know more about how to teach you. Um, but I'm 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 learning. I'm growing. I'm trying. Okay, some things I tried don't work. Many of them don't work. Um, and you know what? I'm just human. I really am. Um, I'll show you guys this. This is an imperfection for the first time since I was in your shoes in high school. I actually considered wearing makeup, you know, for a video, which sounds ridiculous, but it's just my imperfections seem like magnified whenever I'm recorded on a screen here. And I can understand your hesitation to record your discussions and things like that because of that. I'm, I'm in your same shoes. OK, like I the camera turns on and I want to hide. You know, that's that's me. Um, I'm trying to, you know, I'm in my own home and I feel like I should be in pajamas and just kind of chill. Like some people, I want to have like a blanket wrapped around me or a hoodie on or something like that. And that's not really professional. I'm trying to, you know, fix my hair and I'm trying to, you know, get this. I call it my Corona catcher. So it's just like a beard that is just going to hold and carry the virus for you guys. Um, just kidding. Not really, but trying to, you know, make sure I'm neat and proper, but I fail. And I mess up. And I tell you guys all this story to tell you it's okay to mess up. It's okay. 
and we're talking about a test, you know, it's our first test, remote learning, and I know some of you guys are going to knock it out of the park, but some of us may struggle, and it's okay. It's okay to, to fail. What's not okay is to stay there in your failure and wallow in it. I want you to learn from your mistakes. I want you to continue to get better. And I promise you, I'm going to be right there beside you to help pick you up and to get you going again. Okay, I'm not leaving you. If you do really badly on this test, don't give up. It will be okay. I haven't left you this whole school year, and just because we're talking through a screen doesn't mean that I'm going to leave you now, okay? I've got your back. I want you to succeed. We will work through this, and, and I haven't designed any extra credit just yet because obviously this is all different, but you know what? As the results of this test come in, we may talk about extra credit work. We may look at something you could do, okay? But do your best, work hard, and give it your best shot. After that, come talk to me. And you know I'm for you. You know I'm praying for you. And we're in this together, okay? So let's talk through this test really quickly. Five review questions from quarter three test. Nothing obscure here. This is just the questions from that area, okay? Five sequence questions. Five statistics and probability questions and five trig ratio questions, which that's the only one you haven't been quizzed on, but I'm trusting that most of you are gonna do so awesome with that. I'm giving you 60 minutes. That should be plenty of time for you to finish. You normally only get 45 minutes in class for the same amount of questions. Don't use that extra time to cheat, okay? I'm giving you some leeway here. I believe that you guys could do it in 45 minutes but I'm giving you 60 minutes in case it takes you some more time. If you run into some issue, let me know. Now, if you're taking it at, you know, midnight, I'm not going to respond to you, most likely. But let me know whatever issues you have, I will respond eventually. And then, again, I'm giving you some extra time. It'll be due by Saturday at 11.30 p.m. So, giving you a little bit more time. Hopefully, we'll get this done. All right? Um, let me pray with you guys. I, I know this is a recording, and maybe some of you aren't going to stick around for this, but I do want to pray for you. And I, I try to do this before the tests. I fail often, and I don't always get a chance to pray with you, but I've got time now, and I'm going to make use of it. So I want to pray for you. I'm going to pray for your families, um, you know, and I want to do this often. So if you think of something that you want me to pray for you about, message me. Let me know because I care about you guys. All right, let's pray. <clears throat> God, I thank you so much for my Algebra 2 class, and God, they're just refreshing. They're good students. They care about their work. They try hard. They are intelligent. God, you've gifted them with intelligence. This is an honors class. Um, they, they are... Um, going somewhere, at least in this high school career right now. You've given them, you've gifted them with intelligence. God, just like you gift athletes with ability, you've gifted them with intelligence. And God, I ask that you would help them to use that intelligence, not for their own glory so that they can get into whatever college or career that they wanted to, but for your glory, God, that you would be lifted up, that you would be made much of, because you are worth our worship. You're worth our praise. You're worth our time and our lives. God, I pray for these students. I pray that they would remember what we've studied, gone over, the lessons, even though they've been video lessons, that you would help them to remember what they've learned, remember what we've discussed, and God, uh, help them to even learn through this test. God, that they would do well, and it would represent um, how great they are as students. Their scores would represent that. God, I pray for them and their families that they would be healthy, that they would stay safe. Um, during this time where a lot of things are unsure, we can be sure 
that you are with us. God, help them feel that peace, your presence in their homes, as I know it can get stressful living with, uh, you know, the, the families that you've given us. Sometimes it can be stressful. Sometimes it can be tense. Uh, but God, I ask that you would give them peace. Be their peace. Let them know they can go to you with anything. You are their heavenly spiritual father, and you care for them infinitely more than I, I do and I can even comprehend. God, take care of them. Take care of their families. I entrust them into your care because I know you care for them. God, we love you. We thank you just for hearing our prayer. We pray that you would answer it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys um, for those of you who stayed with me. I love you. I love you like crazy. Seriously, I miss you. And I look forward to seeing great results from this test. Go and be blessed.